Hey everyone, going to uh, run over a goodbye pork pie hat and talk about improvisation on this song. Let's play it first. All right, so that's kind of a weird set of chord changes, but if you look at it carefully, you'll see that it is very similar to a blues. It's 12 bars long. It starts off with kind of a turnaround. I would call this an Art Tatum turnaround, though Art would have typically gone to a C right there. Um, but, you know, it's like a one, six, two, five, except now, everything but the one is down a half step. But in talking about improvising on this song, the melody is almost completely the blues scale. So the blues scale will work just using those notes on every chord. But you've got to pick the notes that fit the chord. Like on F, all of it will work. On D flat. You want to skip the C or just go over it quickly. And we'll get to that B. And here, you know, those three notes work very nicely. That works well. And then on the B, you know, the B flat doesn't work that good, but those three notes work pretty well. And really, the blue scale will work on every chord. Um, it just helps to know the notes that are going to sound the best with it. Now, once again relating to the blues, if we look at the first four measures, we've got the weird turnaround. And then we've got two more measures. Now, I think really the blues scale works fine over those. Uh, then we get to the four chord, which happens to be a minor, um, but that's not too uncommon for the blues. And that's the next four bars, so we're starting on B flat minor. And then we've got a 2 5 1, well, 2 5. Now, typically on the blues, you would expect F7 here, and then maybe a D7 on the next measure where that D flat 7 is. So, just kind of feeling it that way. And perhaps even just leaving out the uh, G7 and the G flat major, you know, helps it feel a little bit more like a blues. And then the last four bars, we're just kind of roaming around on these bluesy chords. All right. And then, oddly enough, it ends with the same turnaround that the song began with. So... So you do the, that turnaround at the beginning and at the end. Now, of course, you can find other scales that are going to work okay. Going for the flat five there. Using a little liddy in there. Again, the flat five. using the flat five on each one of those chords as part of my improv. Again, the flat five. You know, using typical stuff that you'd use on a two, five, one, such as the Dorian mode, the diminished scale. 
getting to that flat five again. So I went for the flat five on each one of those chords, and I like how it came out. And uh, let's take the last four bars. Yeah, so it's really kind of odd to go from a B7 to an F7, since it's really kind of the same chord. It's a tritone substitution. But if you think about uh, Claire Fisher's song, Morning, it, it does the same thing. It ends like on a, a B7 and then gets, gets back to F. I think it's in a different key, though. All right, a quick apology to my Patreon subscribers. Uh, I haven't put up any videos this month until now, and I really will try to get a lot more up there for you. Um, so thanks for sticking with me, and uh, see you all again real soon.